اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم my dear brothers and sisters and my dear children assalamu alaikum i vividly remember that day 9 months ago when there was a huge pit probably in the center of the place where you are all sitting where we came to lay the foundation stone the place was slippery many people who went to lay the foundation stone almost slipped the mayor also had to be handled because he was also about to be st- to slip and now after such a short while we are seeing this great grand building and i can only say alhamdulillah rabbil alamin although i was here 9 months ago but uh, when i saw it last night and i saw this place today i thought i was looking at the place for the first time we are holding a jalsa maybe the first the first jalsa in jamaica and then i also recall the first jalsa in kadian during the time of the promised messiah probably 1891 and the attendance at that jalsa was only 75 and hazrat masih maud alai salatu salam called it a very successful jalsa now the number sitting over here is more than 75 we have just attended a jalsa in, in toronto where the attendance was tens of thousands lot of people i went to sierra leone the attendance was 17000 england 25 30000 germany look that small seed which was planted by hazrat masih maud alaihi salatu salam has now germinated and the branches are all over spreading all over the world by the grace of allah i have had the opportunity of going to america africa europe indo pakistan i have seen all I have also seen Kadian the place where this all started small village when hazrat masih maud alaihi salatu salam was was ordered by god to proclaim that he was the mahdi and he was the messiah for whom the world had awaited for many years when he made his announcement the people laughed they joked at him He said, "God has told me that my message will reach the corners of the earth." The people laughed. They said, "The message has not even crossed Punjab, not crossed India. He is talking of the corners of the earth." So, by the grace of Allah, I am standing before you, and we have our uh, uh, missionary in charge, Sahib, and and uh, our Amir Sahib from Ghana and from Canada, who have visited. the place of birth and we have also visited the corners of the world where that message has reached but i want to ask you one thing why have you become ahmadis why have you left your family why have you left your old religion what benefit did you get if you have not become a better human being 
If you, are not, if you have not become a better husband or a better wife or a better citizen, as Imam Sahib delivered his Friday sermon today, if you have not become a more peaceful person in your business, in your dealing with people, then what is the use of becoming an Ahmadi? Why should you lose your family and all your tribe and everything and people laugh at you and joke at you and persecute you and they hate you and then you don't get any, any benefit? If you have become an Ahmadi, there must be a change in you. You must have a relationship with God the Almighty. People say, if I become an Ahmadi, what will I get? We say you will have a connection with Allah Ta'ala. You will have a rendezvous, you will have a docking with, with Khuda Ta'ala, Allah Ta'ala. He will listen to your prayers. Maybe he will even talk to you. So without a relationship with God the Almighty, this, this life is, is useless. Hazrat Masih Maudlai in one of his Urdu poems, which uh, you might not understand, Kya zindagi ka zok, agar wo nahi mila. What is the pleasure of this life if you do not have a relationship with God? Lanat hai aise jine pe, agar usse hai juda. Let the curse of God be upon that life which is without any connection with God. So when you have become an Ahmadi, your objective should be that you have a connection with God. He listens to you. He accepts your prayers. He is waiting for you to, to, to talk to Him. Why don't you knock His door? So you have become an Ahmadi, you have paid a price. Look, you go to a place, you buy some, you pay your currency and you get something. You have paid a price. I have paid a price. I want to know what I got. If I have got no connection with God the Almighty, then it's not a good bargain. It's losses. So you come from Tiloni or you come from any other place or you come from any village or we have a new Ahmadi who just became an Ahmadi uh, this afternoon. You must find out that have you become a better person. Each night you sleep, you should think for two minutes, have I become a better human being? Am I a better human being? Does God listen to my prayers? That is the criteria, these are the credentials which will show you whether you made a right choice or not.